In this video, I'll talk to you about the CCP certification, including what is CCP certification and who is a certified cost professional, and also who issues this certificate. Also, the study domains and the recommended study materials and the examination structure, and of course, earning the certificate as well. So let's start. So what is the CCP certification? The CCP is a professional level certification and this is issued to quantity surveyors and cost engineers by the AACE. Of course, you don't just get it, you have to do a few things that we will see now in a moment in order to be able to get this certificate. But in general, this is a professional level certification that demonstrates your ability to do certain things and it proves that you are a good or you are a qualified cost engineer. Now, who is a CCP? Who is a certified cost professional? What is the definition of a certified cost professional or what a certified cost professional is. So a CCP is an experienced practitioner with advanced knowledge and technical expertise to apply the broad principles and best practices of total cost management in planning, execution and management of any organizational project or program. So from this definition, you understand that a CCP is someone who is having the experience, whether it is technical or practical, and he knows the broad principles and best practices of total cost management, and he can apply these things in planning, execution, and management of any project or program. So it's a great thing, a great person, a great certification, of course. Now let's talk about who is the AACE International who will give you this certificate. AACE International stands for the Association of Advancement of Cost Engineering International. And this is a non-profit organization and it was found in 1956, located in West Virginia, USA. And this is an association of cost engineers and cost estimators and so on. So AACE is a professional body and the AACE are the people who are going to be certifying you as a cost professional if you get this certification. So when someone asks you, you say, I am a CCP, a certified cost professional, and certified by who? Certified not by you, not by the boss. I am certified by the AACE International, which is a great pride, of course. Now let us talk about the eligibility requirements to be able to get this certification. First of all, you need to have either eight years of industry related experience or four years of industry related experience plus four years of industry related study or college. Because if you understood, you need to be an experienced practitioner, someone who is already practicing. Like if you have been watching Cost Engineering Professional for a while, which is this channel, of course, and by the way, the channel name is inspired by the CCP, of course. If you have been watching this channel for a while, you will see that I am always talking about cost estimation, cost control, procurement, contracts. So all these things are things related to the industry, which means that I am a practitioner. I'm just giving you an example of what a practitioner means. My full-time job is related to the cost and I am doing some content on YouTube and all related to the cost. So I am practicing that cost engineering in general. So when we say eight years of industry related experience, we are talking about that, that you are working already as a quantity surveyor or a cost control engineer or a cost estimator, something like this, or four years of industry related experience plus four years of industry related college or degree, like a bachelor of civil engineering, BTEC in quantity surveying, something in this direction. Also, one of the other eligibility requirements is the technical paper. You will be required to write and submit and pass a 2,500 minimum words technical paper and you can choose the topic and it will be written in accordance to the AACE. There will be some rules and things that you will have to follow while writing this paper. But the paper, the technical paper, is one of the eligibility requirements. When you submit your application before you go into the exam or anything, you will need to write the technical paper first and submit it along with the proof that you have eight years of industry related experience or four years of industry related experience plus another four years of college or a degree. The last part in the eligibility requirement is the adherence to AACE canons of ethics, which is a set of rules that you will have to comply with and consider while you are dealing with others and in your professional life. And I've been talking for a while and I forgot that you might be seeing me for the first time. 
So if we are meeting for the first time, I am Ahmad Adil and you are watching Cost Engineering Professional. And here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is what you want, you are lucky you just found me. So just you can quickly subscribe. Now, what are the study domains or what is the syllabus of this? In order to become a certified cost professional, you need to study something. So the study domains in general are the basic skills and knowledge of cost engineering and the economic analysis and project management and cost estimating and cost control. So these four things are the four study domains, the four knowledge areas that you need to know and pass the exam for in order to become a certified cost professional. These are amazing knowledge areas because when you will be reading these things and understanding these things and thinking about what are the practices that we are doing in the real life and what is written there and when you compare these two things, you will feel an amazing feeling. I cannot explain it here in this video. You have to have this adventure yourself in order for you to understand this. And by the way, when you are going for the CCP, remember you are not going for the paper. You don't need the paper that says that you are a CCP. You really need to be a CCP. So when you are studying, you are not preparing for an exam. You are preparing to become a certified cost professional in the real life which is an amazing thing. Now coming to the recommended study materials. From where I'll be studying these study domains or knowledge areas. The first one here we have the CCP technical paper handbook and this is a book that will help you or will guide you through how to write the technical paper that you have to submit that we talked about before. And you will also have the CCP certification study guide which is a guide that will generally guide you through how to study and become a certified cost professional and also the AACE recommended practices you have 11R88 and 10S90 and also the most important book out of all these is called skills and knowledge of cost engineering this is a book that is fantastic to study very beautiful to read so much information is there and it is up to the sixth edition and the last one is the total cost management framework so these are the five recommended study materials by the aace now what about the examination structure how the exam will be structured this exam is going to be five hours and it will be also 120 multiple choice questions or compound scenario questions. And of course the exam is closed book, but you will be provided with all the formulas that you will need in the exam. And you can also go to the exam with a calculator. Now regarding earning the certificate itself, you will of course need to pass the exam with an overall score of 70% or more in the exam and in the technical paper as well because the technical paper will be evaluated and of course the exam you will uh, score a certain score in the exam this should be above 70% overall like in all the knowledge areas of course there is a breakdown for each of the knowledge areas that we discussed we said we have the basic skills and knowledge it will have a certain number of questions in the exam and you have the economic analysis it will also have a certain number then you have the project management it will have a certain number and then cost estimating and cost control this also will have a certain number of questions in the exam so the overall score should be 70 percent or more in order for you to pass the exam then the same thing will happen in the technical paper you will write the technical paper 2500 words minimum and you will submit it this paper also will be scored and you need an overall score of 70% in the technical paper as well. And if you pass both, then you can get the certificate. And in this video here, I give you a bit of taste of what you are going to be learning or studying on your way to become a CCP. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And you can also support us by joining the channel memberships. And I'll see you in the next video.